Hey guys, in this video we are going to study about the difference between electron gain enthalpy and electronegativity. So, let's study. Electron gain enthalpy. It is the tendency of an atom which is isolated gaseous atom to attract an electron. So, here is one atom, a single atom, its tendency to attract an electron, to attract a single electron on its outermost shell. Right, whereas electronegativity is the concept in case of bonded state. So, it is the tendency of an atom to attract the shared pair of electrons in the bonded state. So, here is the bonded state, when the electrons are in the bonded state, present how much is the sharing of the electron clouds ki towards the atom. इस चीज को देखा जाता है तो द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस इज दैट इट इज इन केस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन एंथैल्पी इट इज द टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन एटम व्हिच इज आइसोलेटेड गैसियस एटम टू गैसियस एटम टू अट्रैक्ट एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन केस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी इट इज द टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन एटम टू अट्रैक्ट द शेयर्ड पेयर्ड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द बॉन्डेड स्टेट द सेकंड इज इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ आइसोलेटेड एटम एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट द इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन एंथैल्पी इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ a single atom whereas in case of electronegativity it is the concept of bonded atom the third thing is that it is absolute electron attracting power of an atom ki ek hi atom ki total jo absolute power hai to attract the electron uh, to attract the electron is the defined as the electron gain enthalpy however in case of electronegativity it is the relative attracting power of the atom because it is present in the bonded state so <laughs> this is the relative attracting power of an atom so the third thing is that the absolute and the relative the absolute and relative words are very important over here because it defines that absolute means that it is an isolated isolated gaseous atom having its own uh, power of attraction however it's it depends it depends because the two bonded atoms can be of different elements right next is the fourth is the it can be experimentally measured so we can measure the electron gain enthalpy experimentally however electronegativity cannot be exper experimentally measured and it is a relative number uh, because it depends upon the bonding that how and what kind of bonding is taking place because every time not a single kind of bond is formed uh, there can be different elements uh, number of bonds can be different so this is a different concept so we we can say it as a relative and in case of four, we can, in case of electron gain enthalpy, we can say it as like experimentally measured because it can be experimentally measured. It cannot be experimentally measured. It's a relative number. The next thing is its units. The electron gain enthalpy or electron affinity. We can say like both of them like electron gain enthalpy as well as electron affinity. There is a very big difference. So we can ignore that. Fifth is that it has a unit of electron volt per atom or kilojoule per mole in case of electronegativity i have already told you that electronegativity has no unit because it's a kind of relative uh, number uh, which is uh, which is uh, which is an output of uh, which is output on the basis of scales of for comparisons so yahan pe jo hai scales use kiye jate hain comparisons ke liye to jahan pe comparisons ho rahe hain wahan pe hum koi units ka use nahi karte hain so basically there is no unit for electronegativity however in case of electron gain enthalpy it has a unit of electron volt per atom or kilojoule per mole the next thing is that the electron gain enthalpy of an atom is constant. If we see one atom, then the electron gain enthalpy of an atom is constant. In case of electronegativity, it is not constant. Uh, it depends upon oxidation number, hybridization and nature of constituents attached to it, which we will study in the previous, uh, in the next videos that how the electronegativity depends upon the oxidation number, hybridization and nature of constituent attached to it so yeah this is how the electronegativity changes uh, from for a single atom in the different bonded state a key atom hai alag alag elements ke saath bonding kar raha hai aur alag alag values may be uski present ho rahi hai to ye cheez jo hai wo hum comparison se dekh rahe hai so that's why they have no uh, like perfect constant number and electron gain enthalpy has a constant number for a particular atom so this is the whole differences of uh, uh, electron gain enthalpy as well as the uh, electronegativity so i hope that you liked the video and if you really liked it then please don't forget to subscribe comment share and like until then bye bye